All right, everyone, Ashley on your right, Chelsea in the middle, Jennifer on your left. We're ready for questions whenever you are. Um, what, was the, what was the confidence like coming into this game? You had beat two top six programs. Uh, what was the confidence like coming into this game? Um, I would say we were, we were confident, but Miami is a very good basketball team. You know, the last couple of years we've had, <coughs> last year they murdered us. The year before that they were up 20. Like, I think that we knew that we were getting another tough top ACC team. So, yeah, we were confident from our past two wins, but, you know, we were realizing that we weren't playing a, a slacking team. What were you all able to do in those previous two games? That you, I guess you weren't able to do uh, this game, or it was just Miami just better? Um, I think la the last two games we did a better job of matching up and getting back in transition and stopping. In this game, we had help with that. We also did a better job controlling the rebound. Um, they were us in the paint today, um, calling for rebounds defensively and offensively. So I think that was a big, uh, uh, a big thing for us today. Yeah, I definitely think rebounding. Rebounding, I think in Notre Dame, FSU, we, I'm not sure statistically if we won, but it felt like we did. It felt like we got those defensive rebounds at the right time and we're limiting the one shot. But I mean, you got to credit Miami. Their posts were very aggressive, relentless, and their guards as well. So we just got to do better. Did you feel when they were uh, pressing you guys, it was a lot more, it was more challenging? To move the ball with quick passes, give and goes, and such, and such compared to the other two games. I mean, they've had a couple of games this guy, and Coach Meyer said she couldn't sleep after they played in Pittsburgh because they knew what you guys had done and, and what you were doing in terms of pace. Did they throw you off your pace compared to the other two games at times? I mean, I think that anytime you go from playing teams that don't press, especially the full game, to going against a team like Miami or Syracuse that presses for 40 minutes, it's different. And it takes you out of what maybe you've been doing. But I thought at times that we still got very good shots. We just didn't happen to shoot it as well. And maybe we got, um, you know, I think a couple of times in the first half, we kind of just held the ball and as opposed to attacking once we broke the press. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, Miami did a really good job of, of making us uncomfortable at times, especially in that second quarter. Experience coming through and okay, a little letdown here. I mean, what's the takeaway here besides what coach told you? What's the takeaway for you as players uh, with this, considering the week that you had, and, you know, moving forward? Um, the takeaway is that we're we're doing good, um, but we also need to keep working because um, everybody in the ACC can fight. Everybody's tough. Um, so we just got to keep working and every time we're not ready. Like today, we saw that the team, they were ready, they were very aggressive, they were very good. Um, so we just got to be ready every time. We can't lose focus. We can't um, not have energy and not show up. So that's going to be for the remaining of um, the game that we have. What had last week been like for you all after winning those games prior to this week? I mean, obviously, to beat Notre Dame, that was a great feeling, you know, something that really nobody in the ACC has been able to do. And But then after the Florida State, to me, that one felt even better. We were on the road, and FSU is just as good as Notre Dame, in my opinion. And I think that that really, like, showed people, like, hey, we're not, we're not messing around. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get a third one in a row. I think that this one would have been huge, too. But no, it, was, it was awesome. But... We got to keep things in perspective. Like Jen said, there are no off nights. We got to go play at Wake, and that is never easy for us. So, yeah, you just got to keep it in perspective and show up every night. What was the thought process going on through y'all's head when y'all tied the game up at the end? I think 62 62. I it's... personally had a flashback from two years ago when uh, we were down 20 and uh, we ended up tying the game. And I remember Neek uh, hit the game winner for that uh, game. So I was. I was pretty confident. I wasn't scared. Um, I was just thinking, we can do this, you know, it's going to happen again. And unfortunately, we didn't. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm still proud of my teammates. We did really good. Uh, we battled. We still got to work on some things and clean some things up. But, um, yeah. Which game was that you were referencing? 
Miami two years ago. Oh. Um, your freshman year, our sophomore year. And you did the game last year? No. Oh. No. Oh. Lenny. Lenny Brown. I think it's the way Forest came down. I think y'all didn't lose last last year, so that's not an easy place to play. It can get kind of quiet. It's kind of like playing almost outside sometimes. Is that a big game? It's always big. I feel like Wake, um, they're very competitive with us. Every year they show up, they play their best, it feels like, when we go there. And I mean, we, we just have to show up. We have to play with the same intensity, the same energy on defense and rebounding that we did against Notre Dame and FSU. We, we can't just say, oh, you know, we're not playing a ranked team. Like maybe we can just relax a little bit because that's not the case with anybody in this league. Mm -hmm. Is this a season where a team in the ACC can lose maybe two or three, not say you won't lose two or three games, but could lose two or three games and still win the regular season? I think so. Um, after playing arguably the top three teams already, I, I can see, you know, I can't tell you who's going to win between Notre Dame and FSU. I think that. You know, I don't see any team going through and sweeping. Any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thank you.